Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to give you the number one secret to help you grow your channel, especially if you're a small channel. I'm going to give you something that most channels don't even talk about. They are giving you all these different analytics that you have to pay attention to. If you follow what I tell you today, you will start seeing an increase in your subscribers and in your views and in the growth of your channel. Now on my channel, I teach you how to turn your passions into profits. And one of the ways that you do that is creating content on your channel that you're passionate about so that you can teach other people. Well, how do you get people to stick around and enjoy what you're presenting to them? How do you even, how do you even get found in this huge platform? There are different ways to be found. One of them is trending right we all know about mr beast don't we i just had my my sister's granddaughter came to visit with her about two weeks ago and she wanted to get on my computer and look at youtube and she went right to mr beast 11 years old she knew who he was the neat thing about being a channel that's trending is just say mr beast and half of the population is running over there to watch it he can talk about anything he does not have to follow any of these rules or algorithms or anything that we talk about because he's grown in popularity he's an influencer and people just love to watch him you're not there quite yet another way to be found on youtube is with your homepage. This is where you want your videos to pop up on other people's homepages. So when they subscribe to you, your videos will pop up on their homepage. Now, if they don't keep watching your videos, even though they're subscribing, eh, your videos may not keep popping up. So as a new channel, it's kind of hard to control that. You don't have any control over that. Another way to be found is through suggested videos. See this over here? When I play a video on my um, when I play a video that I want to watch, all these suggested videos pop up and you want your videos to pop up as suggested videos. Again, you have no control over that. YouTube makes that happen. One other way that your videos will pop up for other people is when you subscribe and you hit that notification button, which don't forget to do that right now. And you will be notified when my videos pop up. But this little notification button up here in the right hand corner, all the videos or all the channels that I have subs subscribed to and I've hit the notification button, they will pop up there to remind me to watch them. So how do you, how are you found if you can't be found in those ways? I have the secret right here. Stick around and I'll share that with you. I want you to start thinking about making evergreen videos. That means videos that have topics that will stick around for a long time. Here's an example, how to play the guitar. The guitar will be around longer than you or I will be here and people will still be searching how to play the guitar. It's not a trend. It's not something that, um, you know, people might be talking about, like right now, people are talking a lot about Bitcoin. Do we know if Bitcoin will be around 50 years or hundred years from now? but most likely people will be trying to play the guitar, right? It's It's been an instrument that's been around for a while. So think that way. What is a video that I can make that people will keep searching for? We call them evergreen because they will stay there and people will keep coming back and looking at them. We also, I also think of them as tutorials and how-to videos. I'm always looking for how to do something, how to change a tire, how to play guitar, how to play the piano, how to, right? Um, and tutorials, how to use something. So when you look at this, this, this one here, guitar lesson, how to play your first chord has 13 million views and it was made eight years ago. This video was made eight years ago. This young man created the video, put it on YouTube, and he's still making money from it eight years later. It's an evergreen video. It's something that people will keep looking up. Here's another one how to ride a four-wheeler, how to ride an ATV. This one has been around for four years, still ranking number one, 256,000 views, not quite a million or anything like that, but it's still making money for somebody. It's still ranking number one. People are still searching for that. It's a how-to video. Here's another one, how to apply makeup. Doesn't everybody want to learn how to do that? Um, if you look up how to apply makeup, how to lose weight, how to braid hair, how to fix hair, anything. Um, people will talk about two years ago, she, uh, the second video here, two million views. 
how to tutorials, how to do things. Um, this young lady here was up a year ago and she has 3 million views on how to put makeup for beginners. So definitely an evergreen video, definitely a tutorial, something that's going to stick around. We also call these searchable videos. These are things that people go onto YouTube and they're actually searching for these things, searching for specific topics, how to do something. And this is the kind of video that's going to help grow your channel. Because if you come in here and you do a really good video about how to start playing the piano, um, there are ways to come in and I'm not going to get into that, but you're going to come in to um, see what other people have created, which ones have a lot of views, which ones have been around for a while. I like to watch three or four different videos and take the best information from all of them and then make my own video and get it to rank on this page so that people will start, they'll see my video when they search for that topic. So make it searchable. Now, how do you know um, what, how many videos, um, if you go into your analytics, you can find out how many videos are being searched, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna show you that right now. So how do I find out what the traffic source is for my channel? Am I being searched? Is YouTube recommending my channel so that other people will find my videos because I'm answering questions? I want you to go to analytics and go under reach. And then I want you to scroll down. And what we're going to look at are the traffic sources. And you can see here, I'm a small channel. At this point, I have 3,000, almost 500 um, subscribers. So YouTube search should be my highest ranking right now. And it's at 57.8%. Suggested videos, remember I showed you that earlier, I'm at 16%. Uh, my goal is I want that number to get higher and uh, that search number actually to go down because more people are gonna find me from suggested videos. This is the one that will really blow up your channel. This is the one you wanna watch is browse features. And that's the one where YouTube will place your videos on people's home pages. That's the where you want to be. And right now I'm at 3.6%. Hopefully you'll see me in a few months and that number will keep going up. But I'm focusing on search as a small channel. These are the videos that's gonna help me grow and they're going to stick around. And that, my friend, is the secret to being found and to help you grow as a small channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I will see you on the next video.